Hey guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. We have so much to cover. Same old, same old, repeating over and over and over again with different word, you know, <laughs> different way of clickbaiting people. It's the same old, same old. We all know that uh, Lukaku is fighting now he got uh, a bunch of lawyers walking in italy to try to get him back to italy find a deal we all know that uh you know we need another number nine we all know that we've been linked with everybody under the sun so it's the same old same old same old it's even boring for me to talk about these things but i have no choice that's what i do i try to bring a little bit of light in the middle of the darkness really because people just changing sentences and changing word to make it looks like a, it's a new thing so in this video i choose just to talk about the striking position at chelsea football club okay we've been linked again with uh, darwin nunes remember a few weeks ago i already made a couple of videos about this brother here uh, Jonathan David is a surprising one because I haven't made a, a video about him for a little while now. You know, I made it a month ago when we were linked with him. But this time, it's just recycling again and Chelsea are going for Jonathan David, my brother from Canada. So I'm going to give you quickly my opinion about the striking or the number nine position at chelsea football club and then we're gonna move quickly to read your comment and see what social media been saying about those so-called links to chelsea football club you know what since diego costa right we are not lucky to have a proper number nine at chelsea football club okay higuain morata the rest is history now lukaku you know what? Lukaku, I made so many videos before we bought him. I said, I don't feel good about this brother. Let's save the money. Let's keep Tammy Abraham or give Broja a chance and then wait until a proper number nine that will fit the system is there. Oh my goodness, I got all kind of hate oh you hate why why you have an agenda already blah 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 i was like okay okay we spent 100 million on this brother and i supported him i was like yeah he's playing for the blues let me support him and then he went to the media and said what he said i was angry but i just realized that the end of the day it's all business let's support the brother until the end of the season and let's wait and see what's gonna happen now he restarted again by pushing for his move what do you want me to say i have just to accept the fact right but there are certain people the same people who insulted me for not supporting lukaku at the beginning are the same people who want lukaku out that's how it works the difference is I am on the record and other people are hiding behind the computer with some players pictures in their profiles so you can't really track them because they flip flop all the time they're gonna tell you now oh I didn't want Lukaku hey brother be honest with yourself you are the one who was pushing and making theories and narratives and making short videos to say yeah he's back and finish business now you starting denying because it looks like it's a failure at Chelsea football club hypocrisy at top 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 level you see how these things works Got a Goliath grouper. 
Here it is, Here's the original shot, and he's trying to teach the guys how to play soccer right now. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, people. Why people hate Christian Pulisic? You know what? I'm sick and tired of defending this brother. He doesn't need even me to fight for him because his football talks. Okay? You make whatever theory you want. It's okay. It makes you feel good, empowered, and powerful, and awesome. But at the end of the day, you can't change fact. Let me tell you something. Without Christian Pulisic, this season, Chelsea are not qualifying for the Champions League. Fact. Go check on the fact before you jump into the comment, and let's talk after that. People will bring... To the table oh because of him we didn't win the fa cup or the carabao cup other players also missed chances we are just not clinical in the final third and uh, that's the way it is verna misses a lot of chances mount the same lukaku the same verna i don't want to even talk about him and all that but we're gonna just focus on few players that we don't like for personal reasons and i'm not gonna get there so Pulisic, apparently apparently i'm saying apparently because there are so many news coming there contradicting each other every single second so boyly apparently is gonna keep christian Pulisic in the team because of the american market i don't want to really make it as ah american market money money only because Pulisic got to that level because he did something amazing okay he moves from america go to germany at the age of 15 16 to fight and be a professional football player so if it was about american market only i think they could just come here and get lebron james to play football at chelsea and make a crazy amount of money so that is the narrative and and bs that's going on it has nothing to do with the market it has something to do with his football abilities and if the if the business is gonna come along that is just a bonus and for people who are complaining about oh it's the american market it's about money listen you need money to pay bills the end of the day i don't mind if somebody is gonna make me money think about it football goes together with money you're gonna pretend online oh we are rich we are chelsea football club we have to go and buy this and that have you ever asked yourself a question simple question where the money is coming from the money was coming from abramovich he's not there anymore somebody need to make the money in order to buy players and pay bills so if christian Pulisic is gonna allow me to pay bills and pay all those dead wood who are not making money and then i'm okay with that and if i can get something on the pitch that is also a bonus but don't blame Pulisic only don't blame uh chelsea strikers only lukaku top scorer in italy came to chelsea flopped Pulisic in a different system scoring for fun timo verna in germany scoring for fun so don't always blame and blame blame players you have to tell the truth and say probably the system is not creating enough for our players but you don't say that because you hate you have an agenda against the manager i repeat myself i made more than 10 videos saying thomas tuko need 10 years minimum at chelsea football club but it's not the reason why i should be a cultist and a stupid guy who always say yes 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 i am not a yes man i am somebody who tells the truth no matter how it's gonna cost me financially because i don't care i do youtube for fun to have good time with my friend and i still have my freedom intact 
I don't jump to the popular opinion for clicks and money. I tell the truth, you like it or not. Christian Pulisic been misused by Thomas Tuchel and the system is not allowing him to develop. Look at Vinicius Jr., right? How Antelotti managed to transform him quickly. And now we have to sell everybody and get only what fit to Thomas Tuko. Come on, brother. When we bought him, everybody sold us the idea that, oh, uh, Thomas Tuko was brought in to, to get the best out of German players and everybody else. Okay? And then we won the Champions League. What happened? Oh, look how Thomas Tuko is awesome. In a short period of time, he got the best out of players. Now, a few months later, they got found out. Now it's not about improvement anymore. It's everybody need to go. Everybody need to go. They are just flop sell all of them. Hello, you said a few months ago that he improved players. We brought him to improve players and then all of a sudden sell everybody else. That is called hypocrisy, my friend. That is hypocrisy. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Anyways, people, let me move on here and talk about quickly the same old, same old. Like I said, it's even tiring. Look at this here from Simon, from Fabrizio Romano. Jonathan David, Darwin Nunes, and Usman Dembele are Chelsea target. Tusho would love to sign Robert Lewandowski, but the Bayern Munich striker want to join Barcelona. You know what? Show me the money. Show me the money. I don't believe on people who said never in football. Werner was apparently going to Liverpool. Kai Havert, he wanted to wait for Real Madrid. The rest is history. Mbappe, his mind was apparently set to Real Madrid. The rest is history. Sometimes circumstances in life can, can, can change your vision, right? If you show Bayern Munich money, okay, you offer them some players in return, you can get Lewandowski. And if you pay Lewandowski more money than what Barcelona are offering, I think he's going to change his mind and come to Chelsea Football Club. So me, among all this, this uh, number nine links here, Jonathan David, Darwin Nunes, I don't want any of them. I just want uh, Lewandowski because of his experience and the youngsters can learn from him. And uh, for the rest, I'm not convinced totally about Jonathan David yet. Darwin Nunes, 100 million again for somebody from Portugal. I'm not ready to pay that kind of money, my friend. So tell me in the comment section down below, who will be your choice as a number nine at Chelsea Football Club? For me, bring Lewandowski. If Lewandowski is not there, I'm okay to just not buy any number nine. Give Armando Broja a chance. With uh, Timo, uh, Timo Vernon probably will leave. With Kai Harvett, we can still score a lot of goals. We don't need to always spend, 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 buy. Because we are not lucky when it comes to number nines. You know? Now we miss Tammy Abram. But when he was there, it was a tappy Tammy, right? He couldn't score. He couldn't do this and that according to the narrative. But look at it now. Spending 100 million on Lukaku, who didn't do any better than Tammy, right? So people don't learn. It's always about a feel good factor. We have to buy, we have to get in the conversation, blah, 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 blah. But in reality, really, do we really need to spend money for unknown players? It's not like a, an exact science when you know that it's going to happen this way. Every transfer is a gamble. I don't want to gamble my money anymore. 100 million on Nunes or 60 million on Jonathan David. While you have somebody like Armando Broja who can do the job. 
you have Manson Mount is going to improve and get to the next level and he's going to bring even more goals next season. I think if we create a good system around those players, we can still uh, score a lot of goals. And that is just my opinion. You know what I mean?